leading up to this nugget, we've taken a look at some fun concepts, including the concept of security zones, the concept of virtual routers, and also the concept of layer three interfaces. And so in this nugget, with that knowledge in hand, we're gonna take a look at reinforcing that by configuring zones, virtual routers, and layer three interfaces. Let's look at our plan. And regarding that plan, most of the information we need is right here on the screen. So regarding zones, we're going to create three security zones. They are inside, DMZ, and outside. So we'll create those zones. Then let's go for fun. And instead of using the default virtual router, let's use a virtual router called VR1. And then when we go to the interfaces and we configure the IP addresses on those respective interfaces, we'll assign all three interfaces, these three right here, to that new VR, VR1. And we'll also, when we configure these interfaces, supply the correct IP address and also associate them with the correct security zone. And if any of these concepts like zones, VRs, or layer three interfaces are new, I would encourage you to go back just a few nuggets where we cover each of those concepts specifically to make sure that you're up to speed and ready to go for this configuration. So with this plan in mind, let's do it. So our first step is to log on to the management interface with a browser. So we're connecting to that management interface IP address of 10.0.1.254 and the self-signed certificate that the Palo Alto is using by default is the reason that we get this message right here. So that's normal on a brand new firewall that we're connecting to. So we'll supply the username of admin and the password of admin. And with those supplied, we'll click log in. So after logging in, we have the dashboard tab that's currently selected. All the elements we're going to configure, the zones and virtual routers and layer three interfaces, those are all going to be found under the networking tab right here. So we'll click on network. And then over here on the left, we have interface zones and virtual routers. And let's start off with our zones. So we'll click on zones. There's no zones by default. So we'll click on add down here in the bottom left hand corner of this pane and click on add. So here we'll create our first zone of inside and then we'll go to the type of zone this is going to be and we'll specify that it's going to be a layer three zone, meaning it'll support layer three interfaces. And then if we wanted to, we could go right here and click on add and add the interfaces that we want to participate as part of this zone. But we'll do that in a subsequent step when we configure the interface itself. So we have the inside zone, which is now here and it is not letting me click OK because I have a space at the end of inside and it doesn't like a space in the name. So I'll back off that space and now I can go ahead and click on OK. So we now have a zone called inside and we'll repeat that to create the outside zone and a zone called DMZ as well. So fantastic. We have three zones that are now created. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at our virtual router. By default, we're gonna have one virtual router called the default virtual router. It's also right here under network. And on the left-hand side, we're simply gonna click on virtual routers. So there's the default virtual router. And if we don't wanna keep it, we don't have to, we could go ahead and click it to highlight it and then click on delete to get rid of it or simply add a new virtual router and make sure we put all of our new interfaces as part of the new virtual router. So we'll click on add and let's create a new virtual router called VR-1. So here's VR-1. And from here, we could also go in and add the interfaces that we want to participate as part of virtual router one, or we could go ahead and do that when we configure each of the individual interfaces, which is the path we're gonna choose. So with VR-1 created, we'll click on okay. So now we have three zones and we have a new virtual router. And now we can go to interfaces to configure the layer three properties of those interfaces as well as associate those interfaces with the correct zone and the correct virtual router. So let's start with ethernet one slash one. So we'll click on ethernet one slash one. We'll specify the interface type as layer three. And then we're also under config gonna specify which virtual router this ethernet one slash one is going to belong to. So from the drop down for the virtual router, we'll select VR1. And then for the Ethernet 1 slash 1 interface, this is the interface that's facing outward towards the hostile wild internet that's going to be associated with the zone that we've named as outside. So now that's done, we'd click on IPv4 or IPv6 to supply the appropriate address. So in our topology, we want to click on IPv4 and then under IP address, we'll click on add and then we'll plug in the IP address which on that outside interface, ethernet one slash one would be 10.0.0.254 with a 24 bit mask. We'll press enter. And then with that in place, we'll click on okay. All right, one down, two to go. So we'll, we'll do ethernet one slash two next. That's the interface that goes to our DMZ. 
We'll make sure the interface type is specified as layer 3, and then we'll specify that belongs to the virtual router called VR1, and the security zone for Ethernet 1 slash 2 is going to be the DMZ. So we'll select those, then click on IP, and then for the IP address, we want a static IP address, we'll click on add, and this address is going to be 10.0.2.254 slash 24. We'll press enter, and then click on OK. So two down, one to go. Next, the inside interface, which is Ethernet 1 slash 3 in our topology. We'll go ahead and make sure it's an interface type layer 3. We'll make sure it's assigned to the virtual router called VR1 and the security zone of inside. And then we'll click on the tab for IPv4 and click on add to associate the correct IP address, which is 10.0.3.254 slash 24. Press enter and then click on OK. So then this is really important. We want to verify our work. So all three interfaces are part of the same virtual router. That's great. The interfaces are associated with Ethernet 1 is outside, perfect. Ethernet 1 slash 2 is DMZ, perfect. And Ethernet 1 slash 3 is the inside zone. That's also good. And then we have the correct IP addresses on each of those. So this looks great. We did three basic things. We created three new zones inside DMZ and outside. We created a new virtual router, and then we created or configured three interfaces as type layer three and associated those three interfaces with the correct IP address, the correct virtual router, and their respective zones as well. Now there's one more thing that we need to do if we want the firewall to actually use this information, and that is to commit it. So we'll go ahead in the upper right here and click on commit. If we want to preview those changes, we can click on preview to see what it's going to change. And if we're comfortable with what it's going to change, we'll simply click on commit and let it go to work. Now, truth be told, there is a few more things that we absolutely need to do before the traffic can flow through this firewall, including configuring a security policy that allows the traffic to go between two different zones. And we'll cover that in another nugget. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.